Yo, is TikTok in trouble? Not sure if y'all seen this, but President Biden said that if Congress were to approve the banning of TikTok, he'd happily, happily approve and pass the legislation to make it official. Now, I'm no American, but this sounds like a bad idea and a bit of a slippery slope. The notion of banning platforms seems just a little contrary to the First Amendment and, you know, the one about free speech and all that. I'm no constitutional expert, though, but making the soapbox that so many people be ranting from and taking that away just seems wrong. And I'm not even a fan of TikTok, generally. The app's a complete mind suck and has led to some of the weirdest, weirdest parasocial movements, whether it was like the weird TikTok dances or the, um, the whole NPC live stream trend. Mm, that was good. Coconut, yes, 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 yes. But and it's not that Instagram, YouTube, Snapchat, or Twitch haven't contributed to their own types of degeneracy. TikTok does kind of hold a whole niche on some of this content. But goofy dances aside, TikTok has also contributed considerably to helping new voices, comedians, artists, activists get discovered. The Andrew Schultz, the Connor Prices. I mean, I discovered all these guys on TikTok. I mean, TikTok's reach, especially with Gen Z, is unquestionable. So much so that the ADL also blamed TikTok for its own propaganda narrative of the war against Palestine from being particularly effective. So the question on everyone's mind is, why does the U.S. hate TikTok? Have you ever been a member of the Chinese Communist Party? Senator, I'm Singaporean. No. Have you ever been associated or affiliated with the Chinese Communist Party? No, Senator. Again, okay. I'm Singaporean. Let me ask you some... The short and sweet of it seems that some states and governors have totally bought into the notion that TikTok is corrupting its citizens and spying on them at the bequest of China. The governor of Montana last year passed legislation trying to ban TikTok there. Not exactly sure how that works, but I guess if you're from there, you ain't allowed to access the app or do ISPs and stuff, just block it. And honestly, I'm not quite sure how all that works, but they seem to have done it. But not only is the fear that it's spying though, they're saying that it's helping push narratives to Americans that aren't in the government's best interest or maybe contrary to the government's actual position, again, on behalf of China. It seems odd though, I mean, America, the country that was caught red-handed spying on Americans and presumably everyone else in the world not all that long ago, they're the ones worried about this? I know it's almost been a decade since Snowden blew the whistle on just how deep the NSA's tentacles were in all our business, but yeah, those guys are afraid that China might be spying on us. Seems a bit, how you say, hypocritical. The notion of the app Pushing propaganda just makes you wonder if these guys have ever looked in the mirror. The Twitter files show just how some of these apps were being used by governments to silence narratives and push the ones it wants. Oddly enough, the Twitter files really didn't seem to get that kind of groundbreaking attention you think they'd have deserved with just how damning some of those reports were. What I'm getting at is it seems that America's main beef with TikTok is that it could be China doing what they've been doing all along. Also, makes you wonder how or what Google, Meta, and probably even X are doing to keep the heat off them. Maybe it's just that they're nowhere near as popular or as good. Or maybe it's that TikTok is just better with the younger demographic, which means it's really about... <laughs> Won't somebody please think of the children? But is TikTok actually controlled by China? The answer seems to be no, but I wouldn't rule out any type of involvement directly or not. The Chinese government seems to have some kind of stake in ByteDance, which in turn has a stake in TikTok. So it's not that much of a stretch to see how all these dots connect. But what about all these US-based tech giants? Are we saying that no American politician has some kind of interest or stake in them? It's not that I'm dismissing China spying or having a hand in TikTok. It's that I don't see how this is all that different than the Americans using big tech to influence us. Maybe I ought to be more concerned about anyone watching us, but sometimes it feels like that ship's long sealed. Overall though, it just seems like a weird and horrible precedent to be setting. Does this mean that any app or platform that refuses to push the government's approved messaging gets banned? I feel like that's where we're headed. There's this famous quote, which I'm probably about to butcher, but just bear with me, which goes something like, I may not like what you're saying, but I believe in your right to say it, which is kind of where I stand on why this is a horrible move. Yeah, sure. Maybe this could all reduce some of that brain rot that is being fed to kids by algos concerned more with maximizing time in the app. But there's this other thing that I think ought to be just as effective. Parents, you know, those people that make the kid and are responsible for raising them. Yeah. Those people ought to be the ones really helping control the flow of poisonous dopamine to their kids. But hey, what would I know about that? 
I guess it's just easier to hand our kids this phone and tell them to go sit quietly somewhere while we sit and enjoy our own mindless doom scrolling. No matter how I look at this though, I just don't see how this could be a good thing overall. Could just be my old libertarian tendencies resurfacing again. <sighs> I'm curious to see how this all pans out and what it means for everyone else in the space. The creators, the consumers, yeah, and even the advertisers. Anyways, that's all I gotta say on that one. But till the next one, peace.